Miners inbounded to Parker. Swing it over to Fairless. Now Lagarde top of the key, back to Fairless. Drives on Kimonte. Yamani with the steal. Two on, two break. Yamani's going to take it on Froby. Draws contact. Shot was blocked there by Froby. Yamani comes away with it, gets it back to Trey Marble, and they'll set up the offense. Jesus Casillo, top of the key, gets it to Trey Marble. Bergstrom comes up to set a pick. Marble takes it to his left. And Trey Marble spins in the lane for the pretty layup. He had Jesus Castillo open in the corner for a three had he wanted it, but uh, Trey said, nope, I'm going to spin this and take care of it myself. 52-51, Stars back up one, 9-51 to play. Horn set for the Miners as Oduka rolls to the basket. Lagarde gets a pick from Parker. Step back three is up and no good. Battle for the board. Tip, and I think they're going to credit that to Ryan Parker. That's going to put the Miners back up by one, nine and a half to play here. In the second half of action, Stars trail 53-52. Jesus gets it over to Yamani. Now on the right side is Trey Marble. Marble up top to Bergstrom. Bergstrom sets a pick for Marble. Marble gets it to Bergstrom for the give and go, and Jason Bergstrom's first bucket of the game puts the Stars back up by one, 54-53 with 9-13 to play. And the Stars looking a lot more comfortable offensively here these last three or four minutes, and a lot of that might be because Mohamedou Kabu Kamara is on the bench with four fouls. Three by s &T is no good. Fouls whistled underneath. And that's going to be whistled against the Prairie Stars. And that's going to be whistled against Jason Bergstrom. That'll be his first and the team's second. Julian Smith checks back in for the Miners. 9-0-1 to play. Stars, er, stars with a one-point advantage, 54 to 53. Julian Smith to inbound it. Gets it into Fairless. Over to Parker. Now Lagarde. As they get it down to Oduka. Good ball move by the Miners. Smith driving on Yamani. Good defense here by Yamani. And Kimonte Johnson with another rebound, his 13th of the ball game. Bergstrom up top. Gives it to Yamani Sharif. 8.34 to play here in the ballgame. Marble takes it to the right side. Finds an open Jesus Castillo. He finds Yamani Sharif. Yamani Sharif, three is up. Does not make it. Kimani with another rebound. He goes up strong, and he makes it. And Kimani Johnson will have a chance for a plus one opportunity. That extends the Stars' lead <laughs> Excuse me, to three points, and Kimani will go to the line to shoot one. Kimani Johnson, a 73% foul shooter on the season. Just four points here tonight. The folks, 14 rebounds, five assists, one steal, and two blocks. Solid stat line for Kimonte, and that's got to be a lane violation. If it doesn't go, it does go, so it will count. Parker was in the lane early for the Miners, and Kimane's free throw gives him five points this afternoon and extends the Stars' lead to four points with eight, ten to play. Trey Marble slaps the ball away from Parker. Ball's on the ground and a steal there by Jesus Castillo. And here come the Prairie Stars in the direction. Trey Marble content to just jog this one up here. Next dead ball will be our under eight media timeout with 7.53 to play here in the second half. Here comes a long three from Marbles. No good. Bergstrom with a strong offensive rebound. Finds Jesus over to Yamani. Yamani gets over to Trey. Trey drives baseline. He gets over to Bergstrom. Bergstrom's three from the corner is up and good. Jason Bergstrom now with five points off the bench for Coach Brock's squad. And the Stars now with a seven-point advantage, 60-53, to 7.31 to play. And Coach Walker's not going to wait for the under-8 media. He goes ahead and calls a timeout. So with 7.30 to play, Stars up seven. That's going to take us to our under-8 media. You're listening to Prairie Stars basketball right here on Sports Radio 92.3, 1450 a.m. 